Hello everybody, my name is Tobias and I'm going to make a new open foam training video series of an internal flow simulation and the geometry we are using is Rock Vapor Classic. The geometry its name is actually based on the name of the creator of this geometry, uh, he's Max, I will just uh, I will introduce him in a few seconds. But uh, to give you an idea about what I'm going to do here is to give open foam beginners and more advanced user an overview how I am doing the stuff, uh, generating the mesh and in general spoken, how I'm using open foam for numerical investigations. So I hope you are looking forward to everything and that you can gain your knowledge and speed up your open foam learning curve while using my videos. So the geometry we are using here is a Rock Vapor Classic. As I said, the name comes from Max. I hope I pronounce him correctly. And he made this interesting geometry for the open source community. It's not open foam, but it's uh, the cat, the free cat community. And I was just thinking about what is the community, the open foam community interested in. I also could use uh, or make a simple simulation of uh, let's say a flow around the cylinder or flow around the sphere, but these are just everybody did it already. So we will find a lot of tutorials and a lot of cases and talks about these simple geometries. Nevertheless, they are interesting and for beginners also easy to understand how open foam is working. But I decided to make a more fancy simulation to keep to keep your attitude to open foam and the numerical simulation. And I'm going to make this kind of training video more fancy for you because I want to introduce uh, interesting features of open foam. So my idea was we apply a more advanced and uncoded boundary condition here um, where we are simulating somehow the breathing into our lungs and during that we are getting the air here in into this vapor and then the flow or the air is getting heated up here i think i will make a passive scalar transport equation here maybe also some porous zone here and then we use um, the fv options capital of open foam to introduce some source term here. Then the flow is going down into this channel system. Probably this trigger system we will throw out because I don't want to introduce dynamic meshes here, but you can also keep it and use, for example, overset mesh for handling a movement of this trigger system but this is a very basic not only basic but it should give you an introduction not an, an high level uh, uses usage of open foam in special topics and then the air is like going through this pipe out into the month mouth not month mouth of the the guy who is smoking and this is like the idea of the training series I'm going to produce in 2020, hopefully. Each week one, I will keep these training videos slow. As a few of you already mentioned, I have uh, two fast demonstrations, so I'm always in the mood to make uh, everything very fast. And Doing so, I hope you can get a lot of new knowledge out of the simulation or videos I'm creating here. And of course, I hope you enjoy it, you like it. And if you would like, just share it. And I'm also very interested in the end of the simulation, how we proceed and how fancy this crazy 
uh, analysis will will get. So I'm I'm really looking forward even for how I'm producing this now, and hopefully you enjoy it too. Therefore, keep healthy in these crazy times. Take care and. This was the introduction video about how, about what we are going to do in, in this new screencast series about internal flow simulation with open foam and the geometry is this rock vapor classic. Take care guys. Bye. It's me, Toby.